Judge says in no mercy, victims' families vent their anger as Buffalo Mass Shooter sentenced to life. Anger boiled over Wednesday as Buffalo Mass Shooter Peyton Gendron was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility parole, with a judge telling the 19-year-old he deserved no mercy and a victim's family member lunging at him in the courtroom. After hearing emotional statements from the families of the victims, Erie County Court Judge Susan Egan imposed the mandatory sentence of life in prison without the possibility of parole, saying, Our characters are being tested, the future of our nation is at stake. There is no place for you or your ignorant, hateful and evil ideologies in a civilized society. There can be no mercy for you, no understanding, no second chances. The damage you have caused is too great and the people you have hurt are too valuable to this community, Egan told Gendron. You will never see the light of day as a free man ever again. She imposed a sentence of life in prison without parole for each of the 10 victims he killed on May 14, 2022, at a Topps market on the east side of Buffalo and 25 years for each of the three victims he shot and wounded. Earlier in the hearing, an explosive moment occurred while Barbara Massey, whose sister, 72-year-old Catherine Massey, was killed in the attack, was giving an emotional victim impact statement. I want to personally choke you and leave my fingers on your neck, she said to Gendron. As she was speaking, a relative standing next to her lunged toward Gendron, who was seated at the defense table. Guards quickly restrained the man as they hustled Gendron from the courtroom. Egan temporarily halted the hearing and called for order in the court. I am sure you all are disturbed by the physicality we've seen today. I understand the emotion and I understand the anger, but we cannot have that in the courtroom, Egan said. The first victim impact statement was given by Kimberly Salter, the widow of Aaron Salter Jr., the retired Buffalo police officer and armed guard at the top store who was killed when he confronted Gendron, firing shots that bounced off the killer's body armor.